Welcome back to Red Panda of Destiny, here for another episode of All Your Vehicles Are Belong to Us. The show where we collect all the vehicles from all the places. As you can see, we're going to have a go in the uh, McLaren F1 GT, I think it's called. It certainly flies through gears, that's for sure. I guess we're racing, those are standard McLaren F1. Or what, MP4 Cs? Of course, we get the uh, unique view <laughs> of the McLaren F1 central driving position. I'm kind of surprised that no other. Uh, major companies have done this style again. Because you think about it, it's a great idea. It's, it means you get three people in your supercar instead of two. Wow, this thing is unstable. Sorry. Definitely gotta be gentle around that corner. you don't try and force the throttle down when you're having issues, it'll be okay. It's all about knowing how to stop that from happening. Because like a little slide like that can either be nothing like that or it can be a spin like we saw a little bit earlier. Ooh. Most so if you're drifting, take your fingers off the throttles. Your feet, if you're using the wheel. I just wonder if there are any pro sim racers that still use a controller. I, mean, I guess the, the uh, steering wheels give you that kind of minutia of control that you need when you're competing with real people who are also very good at the game. I haven't done the whole uh, steering wheel thing for a while. Because in my experience, they break quickly. Fun while it lasts, but you end up spending more than you do on the console on the steering wheels. And do they really increase the enjoyment of the game? I'm not sure they do. I even had a force feedback wheel once, but that, that didn't even Those are even worse than so the, the nature of a force feedback wheel is that it has to have a lot of moving parts and it has to fight you. Which is really great for reliability.
it's pretty well set up if I'm sliding all over the place like this. Level 38. Let's go collect our modern GT2 coat. It's interesting that some of these apparently are affected by DLC. This one apparently has two extra cars and one like mystery car that does not exist. That car. That's interesting. The guide I'm using says that this might have been removed. I guess not from my edition. But it looks like I don't have the two DLC cars. A Lamborghini Gallardo and Ferrari 458, yeah. Um, so I don't think it matters which one we get right now. So let's go for the Purdy BMW here. For alphabetical reasons. Like they were, they were all a million dollars. So I just realized I'm going to paint this car white in a second, aren't I? So this is kind of pointless. Up next, your return to Barcelona's majestic Circuit de Catalunya. <laughs> Easy to spot, right? All oh, right, that's it. Uh, join us next week when we're getting a world record contender. Cool. See you then.